Hi guys, you're welcome to today's class. My name is Amget and you're welcome to Amget Teachers. On today's class, we'll be learning this Instagram trading headwears. And the material I'm using is raw silk, the pattern raw silk. And the measurement for the band is 12 by 16 in two places. Remember, it's a V front. So I cut it in two places and the not stretchy part will be 12, while the stretchy part will be 16. As you can see, I measure 16 by... 12 and that's for the band make don't forget i cut two of that and i'm going to take the big one which is the body of the top one and this one is one yard so the raw stick is by 60 so i subtract that two from the 60 and it should give me 48 this one is 48 by 33 48 by 33 now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine now I'm going to my before that I'm going to take my wordy. The wordy I'm using is soft. You can use foam, you can use wordy. And I love using foam, but this time I did not see foam, so I use the soft wordy and I cut four by twenty-eight. If you are using foam, one inch foam, you are going to cut two by twenty-eight. But because I'm using the soft wordy, I cut four by twenty-eight. I hope you understand. And you're going to cut five of that, five of the body, you know, five. And I'm going to take the body and the band to the sewing machine. I'm going to do the V front. I'm very sure all of us how to do, know how to do the V front. Um, I will come back to show us how to pull the wall. Now, I'm done doing the band. I'm done it and I also whip the inside. Make sure you whip the inside before putting the fiber. Can you see how neat it is inside? Now, the first thing you're going to do is to measure two inches from the front. I mean from the band. <clears throat> you're going to measure two inches from the band. Don't mind my voice. <laughs> I am a little stressed. Um, you're going to measure two inches from the back, uh, from the band, before putting your fiber. Um, sorry, before putting your wordy. You're going to measure two inches. That is the two inches that will slip on the first line of the band. I'm going to measure the two inches and put it inside the fabric. Make sure you have two inches left at the front. Just look at what I'm doing here. I'm going to take it to sewing machine for more understanding. Now, we are here and I'm going to put this, measure the two inches I told you earlier just like the way i'm doing just watch what i'm doing here and you understand you see you are going to fold that into two just like the way i'm doing here if you are using foam remember you are not going to fold anything but because i'm not using foam i'm using the soft fiber and the soft um wording and i want the my headwear to bounce so that's why i'm folding it like that watch this place carefully so that you can understand what I'm doing here. Don't forget your two inches in the front. Don't forget it. Two inches in the front. If you get your measurements right, some people said people use um glue to glue it down so that the pleats can stand. No. If you if you do your measurements well, you left the two inches for the front and oh, you won't need any glue to glue it down. It will lay down on itself. Just watch closely what I'm doing. Don't forget your two inches, please.
make sure to secure it to the end of the sewing make sure to secure it just like that use your hand to you know do it very well make sure there's no any crumpets any thing in the make sure it's smooth don't forget your two inches that's what I'm trying to tell you there because that two inches at the front is very important if you want the front to lay and you want your band to come out very nice now we are done with this first step and um, this second step is important what I'm showing you is here is you can see the both side there is space there that's the place you are going to use to join it together we are going to get to that part you're going to take the second one and fold it just like the way we did the first one but there's something here the measurement for this second one is one inch is one inch not two inches like the other one you know the front is two inches why this one is one inch make sure you are giving space for sewing i mean for sewing it together at the edge you are using you are leaving like one to one and a half yards that place i'm showing you you're going to leave like one and a half yards so that you can use it to join it together when you're done then sew it make sure this one is one inch not two inches like the front don't forget that it's very important Just do as I am doing. Now I'm done with the second. I put the third and fourth. It's only one inches in the middle. Don't forget. And I'm here to put the last one. On this last one, I did not fold it in three, just like the one we are doing before. I just fold it into two, just like that, because I want the back to flat to the body. I don't want it to be too big. You understand? So, can you see the one and a half inch I'm leaving there? exactly the one how you are going to leave it and the back is also one and uh, one inch don't forget it's one inch it's just only the first row that is two inches so this one is one inch you are going to sew it to the back I'm going to sew it to the end you can see the way i'm trying to make it neat there So it's easy hand to secure it very well, just like the way I'm doing. Look closely on what um, what I'm doing here, so that you can get it. Now I'm done sewing it and this is how it look. Can you see that you don't need glue? You don't need glue if you get your measurement right. Can you see how lay it is? We have not folded it, we have not done it and it's, it's laying already. And the next thing to do now is to fold it together. I need to sew it together. Can you see how lay it is? You don't need glue for this. The next thing is to fold it together. I need to join the side together you are going to take your pin and use it to hold the band together just like that hold it together like that and also hold the make sure you pull all the inside in one direction I mean the front direction where you want it to lay just like the way I'm doing it and use your pin to hold it down make sure you allow it to lay very well here so that when you turn it 
out it will lay now take it to the sewing machine and sew just like that you sew to the end now I'm here now. I'm, I'm going to measure my head circumference or the client's head circumference. I'm using 11 because the head circumference is 22 and 22 divided by 2 is 11. Now look closely what you're going to do here. After sewing the band, you're going to cuff your hand. Remember the body is bigger than, is longer than the band. So you're going to cuff your hand. Just like that. This covering on hand is what makes it bulky and drop at this at the back. You know, drop and give it the rich, beautiful look. Look closely on what I'm doing here. Cover your hand like that. Make sure your needle is not touching the wording because your needle might break if it's on that wording. So just make sure it's only on the fabric. Remember, we left one and a half inches on both sides. So this is the one and a half inches we are using here. Um, I, I realized that this is too long, so I did not sew it to the end. I just cuff my hand, not, not, not to the end. As you can see me doing it, I did not sew it to the end. Just like that. Now I'm done sewing, I'm just going to trim the edges, the rough edges and weave it. Make sure you weave this fabric because it will be coming out. Weave it, make it neat just like that. And ta -da! We are done weaving it and the next thing to do now is to use our needle and thread to do loose stitches on it. Make sure your loose stitches is neat and tight. You know this thing is long so no matter how tight it is. It will size the head. Make sure you secure it very well so that it won't lose. You know, some people um, make big hair, so it won't lose when they wear it. Secured very well. Then cut. Now our cap is ready. Can you look? Can you see how beautiful the fabric is? How oh, this fabric is giving me joy. <laughs> you can get the fabric from us at Amgas Stitches. You can get it from us just for two thousand five hundred naira. Bayard. Can you see? You don't need glue. I tell someone that you don't need glue for this. I put it on my manicure and ta -da! see how beautiful this come out. I told you if you get your measurement right, you don't need glue. Just place it there and it's looking beautiful already. Can you see that? Thank you for watching. Thank you. I really appreciate it. If you have any question, please don't hide it. Tell us and if there's anything you want us to do tutorial on. Don't hesitate to tell us. Subscribe, like, love you. Mwah.